everyone. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening and good night to wherever you are in the world. Welcome to back to my channel. It's me, Finding Treasures, Giovanni. We're doing an extra, extra late night show today. And um, I want to show you guys what I got for my thrift haul with Ella, saved here first. And um, we went to go on an adventure to see if we could find any goodies and treasures in a thrift store, but we was not successful. So um, we picked up some stuff, but not how we wanted to. But I'm going to show you guys what we found anyway, and I am going to do one giveaway at the end of the show. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's see if we have anybody in the comments right quick before we get started. Say hello to everybody. Let me see here. Hello, Boo. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Good evening and good night. Welcome. Good evening. Good night. Okay. So we have Boo here. And let me just get myself situated right quick. Let me set the tone. Let me set the theme. One moment. One second. Uh... Let me set the theme for tonight. I'm gonna to show you guys what I got for my thrift haul. And yeah. Oh no. Hello love Hollis, how are you? Welcome. Good evening, good night to wherever you are in the world and the country. <laughs> I think that's too loud. Hold on one second. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right, so like I was saying, I'm going to show you guys what I got from the thrift store. Mostly Goodwills, because that's all that there is by Save Here First. She has a lot of Goodwills by her location. I need to get my hands on some of the stuff. Okay. So, you guys know I got some plushies. I found plushies. And uh, I saw somebody else come on here. Hello, Pernini. How are you? Welcome. Good evening to you. So I'm going to show you how much I paid. I paid $2.99 for this bag. I don't know why I picked, I forgot what was the reason why I picked this up for, uh, let me see. I think I picked it up because of this thing. Let me see here real quick. Let's see right quick what it is, if it's what I think it is. This is what's in here. And nope. No, it's not. Is it a squish metal? I really got a slimps of squish metal. Let's see. No, this is a Ben Ben. What the heck is a Ben Ben? I never heard of a Ben Ben before in my life. So this is a Ben Ben. Ben Ben, not Ben Ben. However you say it. Anyways, I thought it was a Squishmallow, but it's not. It looks just like it. And it's soft also. So this came in that bag. Uh, this is not Taz. It does have a barcode, so that means I can probably scan it. But in reality, I don't know who this is. I'm going to be listing most of this stuff on my Macari Plush page. I have one of these already. It hasn't sold, so that means I have two. This is going to be Kiwi. This is a TY. It just doesn't have the tag. The tag is missing. Which is okay sometimes, but not all the time. Uh, this is going to be a line, friends. And 
and this is a duck. I don't know if there's any value to this, so we might do a little bit of research. If not, we'll re-donate it. Re-donate it. I don't need it taking up space. Oh, wow. This is cool. i never seen one of these before. This is a uni, a uni. And I guess you can put your phone right here. It's another TY. You can put your phone right on there. This one is cute. Never seen that one before. This one is a kind of uh, a dandy. That's a dandy on there. And it's not in the best condition. It's a little dirty. But I guess I could go with the duck. We got a turtle here. Oh, yeah, this, I think it was the reason because that's for the Disneyland um, sticker on it. He's too cute. This one is also in good condition, too. All righty. And this is, I forgot who the heck this is. It's a Fisher Price doll, but I forgot the name of this one. So I know there's more of these thingies on TV. And the last one, but not least, is going to be a scented fruit punch. Smells like watermelon. I don't really smell it. I don't really smell it a little bit. It smells like watermelon. Maybe, 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 okay. But for $2.99, I think if we just sell one of these items, I can make my money back just on one item. So if any item sells in this bag, we will have. Uh, so I think out of, let me see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got nine items out of the nine items. Two are not really much resellable, I would guess. Uh, I'm gonna just put these two, like put them away as I could do better research, but the rest look like they are in good condition and can be listed. Maybe also this one. I just gotta double check because I already have it. And uh, we'll figure out what to do with it. We'll figure it out. There's a buyer for everything. We'll figure it out. Now. I got another bag. I got another bag for you guys. And uh, this one was the same price also $2.99. $2.99. And this one looks like it has a little bit more items in there. Let's open it up and check it out. Let's open it up and check it out. Oh, let's go on TikTok Live. Let's do a TikTok Live. Let's stream live from TikTok. Hello, everybody who's joining and who's watching in the background, who's lurking in the background. Who's live in the background? Okay. Oh, boy, did I mess something up here? Let me see. Okay, perfect. So like I was saying, we're gonna open up this bag and we're gonna see what's in here. 
I was gonna say here's another turtle, but this is not a turtle. This is Shrek's baby. This is Shrek's baby. So this came in the bag and it doesn't have a tag or anything like that, but I guess we can use this. I'm not too sure, but that's okay. And for this bag, like I said, we paid two dollars ninety nine cents. So we're gonna see if we'll be able to make our money back in this bag. Uh, I don't know what this ugly thing is, but this is going to be a TY. And the name for this one is called Lizzie. Lizzie. You can see that there. This one's not the best looking TY, but that's okay. Uh, let's see here. I had this brand before, Gans, Gans. This is a pink poodle. Again, it's not in the best condition, this poodle, but it's a little bit dirty, I think it is. Yeah, I could probably use some washing, so I'll have to look up the research on it. But this is the tag, the name brand of it. You guys can see that there. Hello, Nicole. Welcome. How are you? Thank you so much for being here today. This one is another one, the same brand, and I'm not sure if it's a uh, Christmas theme or not. If it is Christmas theme. It's a cute little doggy. I don't know if it has a name. Oh, yes. It says Peppermint Puppy. So I'm assuming this is going to be for the holidays. This is a Peppermint Puppy. I'm showing everybody here. He's in pretty good condition. I think he'll be fine. That one could be resellable. And who do we have here? Is this going to be a TY? Yes, this is going to be a TY, and this is Sun Bonnet. This is going to be a Sun Bonnet. I thought it was a Sun Bunny, but it's not Sun Bunny. So here we go. All right, I don't know if I'll be able to get anything out. Oh, it has a tag. Okay, yep, the tag is right here. I didn't see the tag. I missed that part. I missed that part. Here we have another TY. This one is called Baldy. And the tag is right here, the sticker. So I think if we just saw, like I said, another one, if we just saw any one of these that I'm showing you here, we will make at least our money back. $2.99 is what we spent on the bag. This one is a cute one. This one is a Beanie Boo TY. And the name for this one is called Chills. And this one is like in the best condition I've seen in a while. So you guys know this is going to be maybe a good seller, maybe not, maybe so. But she is cute. And I'm going to start with the whole bag. We got a little bit of the bag left to show. This bag that I got at the thrift store. This was to another thrift store. Oh, no, actually, it's the same thrift store, just different locations. Goodwill. All of this I found at Goodwill's. And uh, let's see, this is called Kids Number Two. I don't really know what that is, but it's not the best looking shape or the best teddy bear. But so far, we have two that's possibly not resellable. We have a Care Bear. Yeah, I was about to say Build a Bear. It is a Care Bear, the purple one. I remember having all the color Care Bears. Hello, everybody on TikTok. Welcome. How are you? Welcome to the live on bagging slash unboxing and giveaway. Here is going to be, this one says my, this one says my first bear. So if you can read that properly, it says my first bear. This is a Carter's teddy bear. There goes the brand right there, Carter's. This is Carter, 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 Carter. That one is pretty clean too. That one's in good condition there. Let me see what else. Ooh, I heard something. Do I have to hold it? Is it supposed to make those kind of noises? <laughs> let me see let me see this is a fisher price toy with no name and i don't know what is this but what it 
So maybe that's what it makes that noise, but it said hola. Oh, the mouth is opening up, look. <laughs> Okay, so this one is an interesting one. I'm gonna look this one up. Okay, this one is good. So the bag is empty. Again, for this bag, we paid uh, $2.99 in the Goodwill store. And let's see how many we got. One, two, three, uh, I don't know if this one's in good condition. This is a little messed up. And it barely got any hair. Oh, no, it does. It got hair. I don't know. We're going to put this in the maybe. This one, my first bear, it's okay. I guess we can try. So how much was that? I lost track. One second. Okay, that was three. This is four. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. And... Five, I guess. Six, I guess, for this one, two. Is this one listable, too? Yes, he's cute and has a tag and whatever that is that's there, that W. Now, the good question is, oh, wait, hold on. Now, this one is a push one, too, but this one's dead. And I don't know that brand. So I'm thinking maybe these four are not going to be able to be resellable. Maybe I'm just going to donate them back from where I got them, the same place. So we're going to just leave that right there. And I think we have a, a, a decent amount of plus to list and to sell now. So now we have two bags. And so I think that's going to be okay for right now. I should have maybe took out the other ones too. Yeah, you know what? Let's make a little bundle here right quick. Right quick, let's make a bundle. Holy Kentucky. Okay, let's take out these. Okay. okay. All these ugly ass teddy bears, excuse me. It's gonna go somewhere else. Not in here. Oh my god, I forgot to put this away. Holy crap. Okay. So we got two, three, four, five, six, or seven, whatever. Back to donation it goes. I don't want it. I don't wanna deal with that headache. Okay. I don't wanna deal with the headache. So then I also got at the thrift store, I got this other, uh, whatever this is, I forgot what, it was a Renko or a Windbreaker, one of those two, I don't remember which one it was, you can call it a Windbreaker or Winco, but it's just, uh, yes, for kids, I know I picked up something for kids. This is a youth uh, camp, camp more, I think that was the, what it said there. So I just decided to look it up and it was they sell pretty good. I got it for $2.99. So well I didn't I don't know if they sell pretty good. I'm just saying the brand sells, I guess. I saw some soul comps and recent ones like one day ago, 22 hours ago, six hours ago. So I guess since now it's gonna be fall time back to school. It is gray. It looks like it's in good condition. I got the pocket over here. I guess it is a size large so um, yeah I don't really see no holes I just decided to pick it up because it was I guess a good price I could probably get like 20 bucks out of it so this is the best that we got over here and I have the hoodie so it's okay Hello, everybody coming in. Welcome. This is another item I got. So that's $2.99. So if I make a $20 sale out of it, I get something. Hello, Mom Knows Treasures. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Okay, now I found like this other thing, but uh, what you call? It? Let me see if I can find it right quick. To me, anything that I see that's this, it's vintage. I don't care what anybody says. I don't give a damn what anybody says. To me, it's vintage because of now, you know. They're coming back, but not right now like that. But there are stores coming back. So you guys are probably like, what the heck is this guy talking about? But to me, it's my childhood. It's vintage. I don't give a damn what anybody says. I found these on the shelf, and I just started to pick them up. I couldn't open it up because it was in a bag, in another bag. So when I went in the line, as I was purchasing it in the Goodwills, there was a few variety of pack of them. And I found Toys R Us baby r us bags but i don't know what kind of bags they were if they were like ikea bags you know the blue ones that you get or if they were something else like maybe a cloth or something like that but every time i see something towards a rust i always pick it up because they don't they don't exist anymore but now they're coming back apparently and i have one open already so it's a lunch bag it's a cute lunch bag And you could put maybe like a sandwich or something like that, a drink or whatever the case may be in here. And the uh, one, two, three, and it was a three pack. So I have a whole bunch of them. And for these, I spent $4 on them. So pretty much they were a dollar each. And to me, this is, this is a steal. This is a steal. This is cute. You just put anything, you just put anything in here. So I picked these up. Don't judge me. To me, I would call this vintage because I remember being a little kid. And it comes with a back pocket too. Going to the toy aisle, like five years old, six years old, seven years old. So I found these. Sell them on this them and see uh, what they're worth, what they're going for. Then, of course, I picked up another item here at another Goodwill location. So this is another bag from another Goodwill location. Hello, Don. Welcome. How are you doing? Hello. And anybody else that I missed? Sorry. Look what I found. Look what I found. This is a ugly sweater, I guess you can say, but for Halloween. And I paid $2.99 for this one. So definitely this will go for some kind of good money. And this is going to be a size large. I couldn't help myself. Who's not going to want this? This is too cute. If they had this my proper size, I would have kept this for me. Too cute. Too cute. And it's in good condition. There's nothing wrong with it. I got the buttons. All the buttons are there. Yep. Maybe just a little lint roller on it and that's it. Little lint roller and it will do. If not, if I don't have a lint roller, maybe I'll do some tape. Put some tape on it and that's it. This is grandma sweaters. I love them. I sold one, a Christmas one, a long time ago too. Well, last Christmas. Okay, here we go. Let me see, I stabbed myself or not? Am I bleeding? <laughs> Anyways, what was that? This shit's so pointy. Let me take this out before. Let me take this out before her. Stab myself with these things pointy. Anyway, for this next bag that I picked out, it paid four ninety nine for it. It is a stamp bag. This is what it looks like. We're going to see what's in here because I never picked up stamps. I just know that uh, 
Some of them sell, some of them no. People like to stand still nowadays. Arts and crafts. This one is of a flower of some sort. And I guess it is used. It is used or if not dirty, one of the two. One of the two. Um, this is Sunlight Impressions. And uh, this is what it looks like. I don't know if stamps. This one says Sunlight Impressions. This one doesn't really. This one doesn't have a, a thing. This is what this one has. This will be for the flower one. This one says hot potatoes, whatever that means. This is a leaf. Okay. This one is says embossing arts, and that is a wolf. This one is best wishes on your wedding day. <laughs> uh, this is also a great impression. This one's been used too. And then we have uh, the world of nature, African animals, rubber stamp kits. What it looks like. And I don't know if we could take them out or not. It's missing one. It's been used. Oh, it's not missing one. That's the ink to the stamp. <laughs> So this thing here, that's the ink to the stamp. It's not missing one. And it's got all of these over here. Oh, you see one came out. So these stamps have ink with them already. I don't know if it's expired or not, but this is what I have so far. And it's with this brand here on this side. So this is African animal rubber stamps, like I said. These are, this looks like an old packaging, but I don't know. It has a barcode on it. So maybe I can look it up on maybe the Amazon or the eBay app to see. Again, I only pay $4 for this. So pretty much anything that sells, I'll make the money back on this also. This one is gonna be a Victorian Hanson's rubber stamp kit, which I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna show you guys right quick. I've never seen these kind of things. This looks like maybe some kind of medieval type stuff. And let's see what's in here. I don't think it has a box because it's a little. Oh, yeah, we can take it out. We can take it out the box. This one looks like it's never been used. 
but it is this one is missing a stamps maybe not hold on okay we can show you like this and it's missing the little thing that goes here on the side so yeah Include seven rubber stamps and a washable blank ink pad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I have seven stamps. I just don't have the ink to it. I don't know what happened, but okay. And oh no, look at it in here. Oh no, look at it in here. Now the set is complete. This set is complete but used. This set is complete but new. Maybe possibility used, but it looks too clean to be used. And definitely all of these have been used already. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm right back where they came from. Who's hot in here? Is it me or is hot in here? Let me bring up my fan. Hold up one second. Okay, now. Nice. Ah. Blood pressure going up. All right. Hello, everybody. Joining. Welcome. All right. Then. Let me see what else I got in here. I think I got one more thing to show you guys. Couple more from here. The last thing I found were these Uggs. I found some Uggs and I paid $9.99 for them, but they are in desperate need of repair. So I figured I'll pick them up and I'm gonna give myself a little uh, assignment and see how I can repair them. So this is what they look like. The bottom is in good condition, pretty much. The bad part is this side, as you can see, and the inside, like, it's dirty all around. You can see all the dirt. It's dirty all over. And the inside, it's kind of a little bit missing some of the cushion. It's kind of missing a little bit feathers, so it's dirty in here also. So what am I doing to clean this? I have no idea. So I'm thinking of putting this in a bucket, just soaking them in there for like a day or two and some OxyClean powder uh, detergent and see what happens after that and let them air dry because I want to know what's going to happen. Are they going to get clean? I'm not trying to spend fifty dollars to take them to a dry cleaner that cleans Uggs professionally. That's just not going to happen. So I'll figure it out. But for ten bucks, maybe I can get twenty-five bucks out of them. Maybe make my money back and a little bit extra. Hello, uh, Joycey. How are you? Welcome. 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 So I don't know what you guys think. The camera is doing no justice. <laughs> no justice in the camera. They're more dirty than what you guys think they are, trust me. Yeah. And for, I took a gamble, so for this price, I really don't know. But that's how much I paid. That's how much I paid. And these are a size. These are a size 10 and kids. And I wish they were a little bit bigger. I would have kept them for me because I like this color. So definitely I could do that. Okay. Okay, let me make sure I don't forget anything else to show you guys that I picked up very quick. Um no, I think I got everything. I think that was my little baby haul that I got from the the Goodwills, pretty much everything was from the Goodwills. We did go to another thrift store. I forgot the name of it. Uh, 
it was called like thrifts thrift home something i don't even know i don't know i don't remember but i do have a little giveaway to do with you guys like always appreciation thank you so much for being on my channel um i just wanted to show a little bit of what i got from my haul earlier and um yeah one second one second Oh my god, this is too cute. This is too cute. Do I really want to give this away? I don't know. This is too cute. Yeah, we can give it away. It's okay. It's a pouch. A pouch trousers. Anyways, whoever's on is watching. If you want to participate, you're more than welcome to participate. We are no longer doing um, bagging and unboxing. We're going to now do a quick giveaway. And if I can, let me see if I can get this thing working here. One second. Um, here we go. Here we go. If you are on TikTok and you want to join the giveaway, uh, my link is in the profile so you can just click on the link and it'll bring you right to my youtube channel so you can see it all right let me see if i can get the giveaway tool right quick oh no anyways we can just do the old-fashioned way All right, so I'm going to give away this extremely cute squish metal pouch that I thought was so cute that I had to pick it up. It is way too cute. Um, I don't know the size of it, but yeah. And if they had this for boys, I would definitely keep one for me. It's silky in the inside. It's new with the tag, never used. And this is today's giveaway. So, yeah. The way we're going to do it today, I guess, is we can do... Um, we can do numbers. We could do number one to fifteen. Where are we? Yeah, we could do number one to fifteen. And I'm gonna write it down in this piece of paper. Let me get my numbers first. Uh, a pen. One second. One second. Okay. Let me write down the number first. Uh, I said number one to 15. Okay. Okay, number is written. I wrote the number already. That's it. Number is written and sealed. Boom. You guys can submit your numbers now. Any numbers one to 15, I'm going to be giving away. So you guys don't think I'm switching it up on you guys, okay? I'm gonna be giving away this cute squish metal bag. Oh, not a bag, it's a pouch. So numbers one through 15. Numbers one to 15. We got to keep the game fair because, you know, we got to keep the game fair. Hello, Explorers. We're here. How are you? Good morning, honey. Is it midnight yet? Yes, it is. Good morning to all the people in the East Coast. It's a beautiful night still. <laughs> oh my Good morning. Also, I picked up these Fanta oranges with Ella. 
and um and her what do you call it the uk supermarket or uk market yes it's fanta orange just like you see in your store here but it says made with fruit and the lady said that they don't put i think she says syrup or starch or something like that in their drinks in the uk so i am going to put this in the fridge and when it gets cold i'm going to try to see if there's a difference it does says made best fanta taste ever and it looks just like the ones from here but it doesn't have particular ingredients oh look you can see something here made with gb whatever that is i have no idea so i found these in the the Oh, British market, I think she calls them, or UK, I don't remember, but I'm going to try those out. And again, we're doing a giveaway for this beautiful pouch, numbers 1 to 15. I'll give it another two minutes or so. Another two minutes or so. Let me put my, my link you guys can fill out your forms if you guys need to fill out the form so i can send this to you guys the address one moment one moment Okay, here we go. I got you guys. I got you guys. And the number is in my head. So once I'm done here, I will call out the number. I don't I don't think I see the winner. Boo says 22. Boo, no, you need a number less. You need a number 1 to 15. 22 is too high. There's not enough people. I'm trying to make it quick and simple. <laughs> a number 1 to 15. There's plenty of numbers out there left for you guys. A number one to 15, that's all I need. All right, there it is. It is pinned on the top of my chat. So if you guys haven't filled out the form yet, there's a form there, you guys can fill it out. Put all of your information, your full address, your name, your YouTube name, everything. So that I know who it is and where am I sending it to? Oh, you put 10. Okay, perfect. Sorry, I don't know if... Did you put that already? I didn't see that one. Probably a lag. Let me double check. Hold on. Okay, I think I'm going to close it up. Once I put that line in there, that's it. There's no more. Okay. Okay, dokie. Oops. Let me check the numbers in the chat right quick. The person closest to the number without going over or on the point will get We'll get it. Okay, we got it. 13, 7, 22, 10. That's it. I could have sent us some more numbers. Let me see. 
I just want to make sure. All righty. Here we go. If I did it correctly without confusing myself. Wait, is this another number? Hold up. Yeah, okay. The person's even on the thing. Okay. All right. So the number is number two. And Joyce's is number five. So I guess. No, she went over. Yep, there's really nobody that's close to it, so we're going to give it to you. It's okay. Number five is going to be the closest, I guess we can say, for right now to number two. Because nobody was close. So there was no winner. Okay. Yes, I am in Florida. No winner. No winner, but we'll give it to you anyways. And then on the next round, I mean, the next time I go live, I'm going to do two giveaways to do a rematch for today. So this is for you. And if you don't have, oh no, I have your address already. Never mind. Sorry. I have your contact information. Okay. Let me make sure I mark that down here. Perfect. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We forgot. Oh, my Lord. How can I forget? Oh, my God. How can we not celebrate the winner? Hold on. Perfect. We celebrated the winner. Congratulations. And that is all I have for you guys today. Let's see what else we say in the chat before I go. Uh, la la la. Fun. Good night. Good night, everybody. If you're leaving, thank you so much for being here. Any sales this week? Um, I got to get some stuff together. And once I organize and see what's sellable, what's not sellable, whatever, because I have just a lot of stuff all over. I will be having one this week, maybe two this week. Um, some is going to be closed because I have uh, so much clothes. And... Um, the rest is like general merchandise, home stuff, um, plushies and stuff like that. So, you know, I have a little bit of everything. Hello, Philly Flippers. How are you, Paul? Welcome. We're just about to exit out, but I hope all is good. Boot says, do you have any of the animals? No, I do not. I'm sorry. I had, but I don't anymore. Sold out. Sold out. I am so down. I'm so sorry, love. Love Hollis. Good night. But I will be doing auctions. You guys will see me not following me on my Instagram already. Make sure you follow me. <laughs> I, uh, I'll wait a little bit. I'll wait like two more minutes since Paul says that I can't exit because he just got here. Oh, whatever. That's drama llama. I am in Hollywood, Florida. I'm next to Fort Lauderdale um, and North Miami Beach. So I'm in the middle of those two. And I'm one hour away from Ella from Safe Here First. So I used to be 22 hours away from her. <laughs> Now she's very close to me. Now she's literally one hour away. 45 minutes to one hour. Philly Flippers is moving to Florida. What part of Florida are you going to? Don't tell me you're going to go to a, a, a deserted area where there's just nothing but unhappy people. 
and nothing to do. <laughs> and if you go to Orlando or Kissimmee or Central Florida, you're going to probably just feel like a tourist the whole time you're there. Sarasota, Sarasota. Uh, uh, it's okay, Sarasota. I'll give it to you. As long as it's not kissing me, Orlando is okay. Every time I go over there, even though I live here, I can never feel like I live in Florida. I feel like I'm just a tourist all the time. I don't know how the people over there live. I'll be like, Disney, this, Disney, that, Mickey Mouse, this, Mickey Mouse, that, Universal, this, Universal, that, SeaWorld, this, SeaWorld, that. I can't do it. Sarasota is okay. Let's check to see exactly how far. I know it's a little dry, but let me check right quick for you. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's uh, the West Coast. Let me see. Yeah, Sarasota. Uh, eh. Yeah, Sarasota is the West Coast like I thought it was. And yeah, that side of town is not really like, you know. But it'll do. If it floats your boat, it, it'll do. And if, it, if you're going to move over there, I'll visit you. That's no problem. That's okay. Oh, save here first. It's sad, sort of rich people, old people. <laughs> I'm looking for a rich old lady, Ella. Hey, that works out too. That's fine. Sugar mama, that's okay. There's plenty of those around there. Hello, Ron, Ron Street Foods. Welcome. How are you? That's okay, but Sarasota's all right. It's close to, uh, what is it, Clearwater, Tampa area, stuff like that. Far away, it's a four-hour drive. Fitty Flippers will be four hours away from me. I'm all the way in the East Coast. He's going to be all the way in the West Coast. Yard says all year round, all you need is a tent. That's all you need for the sun. All year round, that's all you need for the sun. Okay. And over there, they have some good, um, well, I don't know about the thrift stores, but if they do have thrift stores, I would assume they're expensive. I would assume they are expensive. I don't know if Ella knows, but maybe she would know better than me. Congratulations, though. uh we can meet halfway yeah we can i think halfway is literally orlando or kissing me <laughs> that'll be two hours and like 30 minutes away so yeah that cuts down the time that cuts down the time hello welcome safe here first good we can come and stay yes we can come and stay and crash your place Definitely. Ah, I got the spare room. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are too funny. You guys are too funny. Well, when you do make that move, let us know. And I can bring Ella so she can help you move, you know, relocate. And she can move some boxes for you and stuff like that. So she'll help you out. She'll be more than glad to help you out. <laughs> Oh my god, that's too funny. All right, you guys. I got to start getting ready. It's already 12.15. It's past my bedtime. It's past Cinderella time. Alien and Karen show. Oh my god, look at, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Let me see here. Okay. Fixed it. I fixed it. All right, you guys. Well, that's all. If there's no other questions, anything else, Paul, thank you so much for popping in right quick. Thank you, everybody else. Appreciate you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to be going on again. I just don't know when, probably tomorrow, if not around the same time. Uh, I was going to say Thursday, but today is Thursday. Friday, it's another day, and the weekend too. So stay tuned. I appreciate you guys. 
and um, hope you guys have a good night. Stay safe, stay blessed, and on to the next one. Good night, y'all.